face-off circle referee Gilles Lebec ready to drop the puck in this hockey ultimate team matchup. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro set to call the action. The Canucks take possession here on the opening draw and we are underway. Drives to the paint! In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Still scoreless in this one. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Grabs it in his own end. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Vancouver's got the puck in their own end. Grabs it in his own end. Nice speed at center, moves up ahead now. With possession along the wall. Can't keep a hold of it. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Besser. They've got the defense outnumbered. Wins a one-timer. Wow. Scores! Now, when I was playing at home, I loved if we could get on the board first. It really makes you feel like you can throw four or five into the net. Well, he gets to walk into this and pound it by the goaltender. Nobody picks him up in the high slot. Goalie's not going to get many of these. Vancouver's got the home crowd right back into it here in the first five minutes. I love the way that they approach this game. They weren't going to hold back at all, and now they can play from the lead. Solid check to slow him down. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Fleury. Takes the feed, and they can't convert to the play. Dismiss that chance. Vancouver's got it in the offensive zone. The Canucks will play it from the corner. Shot! He scores! They didn't sit back after getting that first one. They pile a back-to-back -back goal on here. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net. He has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Vancouver's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. Brindamore's one possession. Slides it to Flurry. Number seven. Centered out in front. Goalie makes the save. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Backhander scores! Three is the magic number! Man, that goalie is getting just torched down there. Three in a row here. Two parts to this, James. He gets himself into the low slot in good position, and then he zips a backhander past the tender. The Canucks came hungry to play this one, and they lead as a result here in the first. Vancouver's won it at center ice now. He grabs the puck. Oh, what a stop! Scooped up along the wall by Recky. Denies him again! He's right on it. Two consecutive saves. Tough ones at that. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. And they'll keep on playing as icing is waved off. Vancouver's got the puck in the corner. Takes it to the front. Whoa. They score! James, how many timeouts can you have? Because they need one now. They needed one before. And the way this is going, they're going to need one in a few minutes. Or they could use the ghost of Roger Nielsen to wave that white towel. He's probably got about two seconds from the time that puck's delivered to find it. He can't see it, so he drops into the butterfly and hopes it hits him. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, Vancouver's latest goal has now given them a four-goal lead. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. 
gets into the paint. Huge stick save by the goaltender. And he regains control of the puck. And he can't hang on after that hit. Sends a pass over. Nice pass. Here he is in front. He scores! Well, the old double dip makes this a fantastic night for you. You know it's your night. You're feeling it. And now he's got two. Oh, that's a great pass. Good hands that you elevate the puck over the defender's stick and the shooter catch and release. And it's in the net. The Canucks are dominating in almost every facet of the game here in the first. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Great chance in front! Oh, it's right there for him. He whips on it, though, James. Shot in front! Score! to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot, you're open, but you know everybody's converging on you. All right, we're going to get a goalie change here. He can't get over to the bench quick enough. Now he can get rid of that mask, throw in a ball hat, wrap a towel around his neck, and try and relax. This has been a rotten night for him. Vancouver's still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. Linden's won the draw. Goal scored by number six. Time of the goal, 11 minutes. Graves has the puck against the half wall. Here he is in front, can't connect. Picks up the puck in his own end. Up along the wing. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Handles the puck. The Canucks work it through center. Move to the middle. Stopped by the goaltender. Vancouver's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Cuts to the paint. Right on the doorstep. Here's a backhander. Scores! Oh, that was a beauty! I think this goalie's going to look up at the clock and see just exactly how much time is melted away. It's going from bad to worse for these guys. Vancouver's offense has been shining brightly so far in this first period. Sedin's won the draw here in the open ice. Takes the feed from the left side. And that's blocked. And now he tries to get it across to Housley. Just wide. Back at the point, they set it up. Oh, he ripped that right after the... And we got a fight. It doesn't even have to be a hard shot. It can be a muffin. But everybody is going to defend the goalie when you shoot the puck that late after a whistle. Absolutely rocked down to the ice there. That was a heavy blow, and that is the end of this bout. And here comes referee Gillibeck to clean things up. Oh, he was looking for it there. I, I think he's just frustrated. It's been a long night, and he was looking for a dance partner. The gloves are back on, the buckets are strapped back in, and we still got a game to play here with an upcoming faceoff. Vancouver's won the draw in the neutral zone. Musa quickly over to Besser. Now a quick pass to Sedin. Scores! His second of the game! Well, he's been on it tonight. Really good skating legs. He's finished off a couple of plays, too. Shooter's able to corral that saucer pass, and then he beats the goaltender.
The Canucks lead it here late this first period. Sedin's won it. Puck picked up in the open ice. And they fail to go tape to tape. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Tries to get it to Housley. Quick feed to Sedin. That pass doesn't go. Besser's got it deep in the offensive end. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Quick pass to Besser. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Vancouver's got it along the wall. Snaps one from the slot. Oh, and he can fake his stick for that one. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Vancouver's been the better team here in the late stages of this first period. More shots, more goals. Simple as that. Brindamore's won the draw. Fires it on net. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. The first period in the books and not a moment too soon. What a performance. At least at one end. Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action.
They're ready to drop the puck here on period number two. James Sabolski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Vancouver's won the draw. Moves the puck. Here's a chance. Wrist shot from the slot. He scores! Rob Besser steps up big time. This is a really good place to get lost on the ice. The defensemen are down low defending. The forwards are worried about the point. If you can find this high slot play, you often are going to get a one-timer. Vancouver's continue to extend the lead here, and they look like they are on fire tonight. Terrific hockey game they've played. From the goaltender on out, they've carried this play. Scored by number six. Goes right to the crease. Scores! It's in the back of the net. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. Vancouver's quickly filling up the highlight reel shows for later this evening, Ray. They are, even though it's in the second period still, they have scored almost at will tonight. Moves it to Besser. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. Sadin's, and that's the hat trick! Listen to this place! And here come the hats. I love this tradition, although I will tell you, they collect the hats up, they used to give them to us, and you're like, what am I gonna do? I'm not wearing somebody else's hat. A sweet feed there, the butterfly pass goes across and the shooter doesn't miss. Cooper's offense is showing no signs of letting up in the second. I've never liked when a team takes their foot off the gas pedal. If it's your night, go score. Go feel good about yourself. His third of the game. Score. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Takes the feed. Best has been a leader of this team offensively. And scores! This is getting insane. It is crazy how often the puck tonight to end up on his stick, and then when it's on his stick, it ends up in the net net. What a game. I like the skill here, James, to make the pass and then to receive it, shoot it all in one motion. Vancouver's offense firing on all cylinders tonight. Is that fair to say? Yeah, they're going to have to change the netting in that other goal. Man, they are firing the puck in there at will. It's getting frayed. The Canucks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. Sends it over. Busted up on the play. Now you get in the right spot. Sometimes the thing just hits you. Grabbed along the boards by Besser. The backhand. Big save in front. Moves inside. Scores! He stayed with it. Goalie probably wishes he didn't leave that rebound there. The shooter takes it and throws it up into the top of the net. The Canucks are on fire tonight here in the second. Domination right from the very beginning of the game. This is now an absolute landslide for them. Grabs the puck at center. And now it's over to Fleury. Great positioning in the defensive end. On the attack along the boards. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Long pass up ahead to center. Sharp Rico pass there. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Vancouver's got possession here in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Fleury. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. The Canucks look to start the transition game. And play continues here. Backhander in front! Stones him with the blocker! Along the half wall with the puck. Here's a rip! 
Oh, just wide. I thought he had that one, James. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here he is, wristed on net. He scores! And this place is going bananas. They know what the moment's all about. Well, I guess we know who the first star's probably going to be. That's three for him tonight. Now, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. Vancouver's the only opposition to contain them offensively might just be the clock here, Ray. It can't go fast enough for the team that is behind. When you're in that bench, you keep looking up and hoping that the minutes have melted away. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Slides the puck over. Great set of wheels, and the icing is waved off. Yeah, that was like a freestyle skate race. I mean, there's no puck in the vicinity, but he kept the play alive. Snaps it out of the net. Scores his second of the night. When you get one, you start to get greedy. You want another one. You know it could be your night. Now he's got two. If that's me, first thought is I could get three. I know I can. Date for the next one. Now that shot beats him, but man, there's so much traffic in front of the net. He's tried to dip and dive around the players. He never finds the puck. The Canucks clearly aren't a fan of any mercy rule tonight, are they? Now, when it's your night, though, go and enjoy it. You got a few goals, go get a few more. There's going to be some nights that it doesn't happen like this. Centering pass, and that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Sends the pass over. Nice zone entry from the middle. Receives the pass, and he scores! Fine with the shot there, James. After he deked the goalie out, he had lots of room, but he put it just inside the post. Vancouver's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. From the neutral zone now. Scored by number 21. That's on the doorstep. Whiffs on that. And they can't connect. Drives it to the crease. Misses. Get it on the cage. Make the goalie do something with it. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Here's a short pass to Linden. Scoops up the puck now. Picked up along the wall by Linden. Vancouver's got the puck against the half wall. Into the corner of the attacking area. Moves the puck down low. Takes the pass. Moves into the slot. Denies him in close. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Keeps hold of the puck. And it's a quick pass to Fleury. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Vancouver's looking to break out of their own end. The play in the second period. Right in front with the shot, and that's blocked away. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Besser. Here's a blast. Misses wide. Now, tough to generate a rebound even when the puck misses the net by that much. And the period has come to an end in what has been a very one-sided affair tonight.
What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. Been a great night for hockey so far. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Let's drop the puck on this third period. Well, this has been an absolute blowout through the first two periods as we get underway here in the third. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? Grenoble's first two periods have been marred by turnovers. Every time it looks like they're going to get something going, they burp up another one. They don't have the puck much, and they're behind in the game. Here he is on the backhand. Scores! The captain comes through. You got to get into the middle of the ice to score. He's in the low slot and he whips the backhander past the goalie. only continue to extend the lead here in the third. They haven't missed many chances. They've scored at will and now we're coasting home. Puck picked up by Housley. Takes the pass from the left wing. Quick pass to Sedin. And he denied that opportunity. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Denies him in front. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Vancouver's on total cruise control early in this third period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Kachuk. And now it's grabbed by Flurry. Couldn't complete the play. Makes a move in front. Scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. He doesn't waste any time getting this puck off his stick. The snapshot beats the goaltender from the high slot. Vancouver's added to their lead here in this third period. It's been non-stop. I like how they've scored and then gone after the next one, James. They've had their foot down on the gas pedal the whole night by number 17. Moved out in front and makes the save. Takes the feed. Stays with it. Just slide to the net. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Vancouver's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. The Canucks win it. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Sets up from Gretzky's office. Chance right in front. Nothing doing. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Drives to the sweet spot. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. And he misses. That's a good scoring opportunity. He doesn't capitalize on a great A chance. Good check, frees the puck up. Here's a chance in front. Gives them nothing in front. He's sharp on this one, out on top of the crease, aggressively to make the save. Sends a pass over, forces the turnover. And he totally whiffs on that one. The Canucks take possession here in the open ice. 
Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. And they can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. And he coughs it up with the pass. Vancouver's done an excellent job tonight being in the passing lanes. They've intercepted a pile of passes. One of the reasons they're way up in this game. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Tries to the crease. Off a stick. Really solid shift here. Their puck possession game has been outstanding. Now they've got it again, and they can hold it down underneath the blue line. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Canucks will go to work here in the offensive zone. Vancouver's on the attack. Moves it to Sedin. Vancouver's got it near the point. Nice pass. Sends it down low. Comes up with the steal. Takes it into the slot. Turns it away. High quality chance, high quality save. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Picking up some steam at center ice. He's got a step. Denied by the goaltender. McLean's had a really easy night here, James. I don't know how it could be much easier than this. All alone, he scores! It's in, and that's three red. I think he's the most surprised guy in the building. Look at the way he reacted when that puck went into the net. Outstanding effort. Once you escape the pack, it's now one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. He's trying to read you, you're trying to read him. The shooter wins this time. Vancouver's goal scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forecheck. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Shot, big stop by the goaltender right in front. Dead center, excellent save. Couldn't complete the play. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Vancouver's gained possession. And mercifully, now just seconds left in this one. Hangs onto the puck. Vancouver's got it from behind the net. Handles the puck. Grabs it in his own end. Tries to get the puck to Flurry. Takes it across the blue line. Cuts to the front with the stop. Through center along the wing. Here they are on the attack. Grabs the puck. Moves it quickly over to Flurry. They go on the attack through center. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick shot! Oh, tried to pick his corner and puts it off the outside of the post. The Canucks are on the good side of the score here, but man, it would be a little bit different if these multiple posts would bounce into the net once in a while. There's the horn, and that's the hockey game. Pretty much a one-sided affair tonight. Well, they kept shooting the puck and getting it back and shooting it again. Eventually, it goes in, and they're just cruising home. or people try to beat traffic to leave here when you see stuff like this at the end of the game. Well, it makes you feel part of it. And so the fans stay, the players salute, and everybody feels like they're part of this one team. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us tonight.